Imagine if one day your private information was suddenly on display for the whole world to see. Chilling, isn't it? This is just not a story. It's a reality that happened to a public company in Australia. Stay with us to uncover this digital drama and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to join us on more thrilling adventures. Let's dive in. Visualize a city, a unique one, where buildings are made of data and streets are filled with digital information. At its core lies a company, a vault of countless personal secrets. Suddenly, the calm is shattered. A shadowy figure, a hacker, finds a tiny crack in the company's defenses and slips through unnoticed. Think of the company's network as an impenetrable fortress, yet our mysterious intruder, skillful and silent, discovers a hidden entrance and quietly makes their way inside the network. In the shadows, they move unseen, collecting names, addresses, personal details. It is a silent hist of an immense scale, targeting not gold or jewels, but personal data. As the breach is discovered, the company leaps into action. A team of experts assembles. It is a race against time to trace the intruder and protect what's left. The shock of this breach echoes across the globe. It denies discussions amongst governments and leaders, sparking a debate on digital security. So before we go any further, we need to explain what an API is and what it does. So API stands for Application Programming Interface, and it's like a helper that allows different applications to talk to each other. So let's imagine a restaurant menu but for computer programs. An API tells one program what to ask and how to ask it. So an API is also used by application to send and get information. For example, a weather application can get other information from a different API on a different space. So an API can also help make complex tasks simple. For example, an API can post messages, for example, to your social media without you having to do that. So to conclude, an API makes sure that only necessary information is shared between programs and thus keeping it safe. As we reach the end of this shocking tale, let's take a moment to understand how this attack happened. The hacker found a weak point. An unprotected API is used to enter the production environment. The graphics, as you can see, show how the data flows within the system. Notice the point where the attacker gains access, symbolizing the breach. This was the critical moment when the defense were bypassed. Now, let's talk about how such a breach could have been prevented. It's crucial for companies to implement both governance and technical controls to safeguard their data. The OWASP API security project is a regularly updated public database of known API security risks. The internal cybersecurity team should regularly check this database for API vulnerabilities, which could of course be impacting the company. Ensuring that all APIs are secured with an authentication protocol. Conducting audits can identify vulnerabilities before they they're exploded. Implementing strict access control ensure that only authorized personnel can access sensitive data. Keeping all software updated closes security gaps that hackers might exploit. Using advanced systems to monitor network activity can detect and alert on unusual patterns indicative of a breach. Lastly, having a robust incident response plan in place to ensure that a quick and effective response is taken in the event of a breach. Thank you for watching and if you found this informative, please subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Please share your thoughts and any questions you may have. Until next time, keep your data safe and curiosity alive.